everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Welcome back. We're on page six. Um, the pocket openings are going to be to the left and right. And this is a simple page. We've got a pocket that is nine by five. So it's nine inches across and then five inches tall. You're going to score a half inch on either end of the nine inches and a half inch uh, along the five inch side. So the way I do it is I place it in my score, I trim it down to five inches, five by nine, put it in my scoreboard, score a half inch, score a half inch, rotate, score a half inch, rotate, score a half inch. So three of the four sides have um, a flange and have tape on them. And this is going to go corner to corner, flush against the bottom of the page. Okay. Now we have um, the top flap, which is going to go from the top down. It's five and a half by eight, five and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. I don't have tape, so give me a second. Put this on. And this is going to go corner to corner on the top, flush. And I'm just rotating it around so I can better see the edges. So there's our flap, here's our pocket. Now we're gonna add a magnet or set. Okay, and now we'll close it. And there's our magnets. There we go. So that's it for uh, page six for the um, interactive components. I'm gonna organize ink and dry fit my designer paper. When I get back, we can start doing the uh, um, decorating. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page I have to double check. Six, page six. Okay, I've got some, I've got my A side pieces pretty much trimmed out and inked. I'm actually I'm not sure I'm going to use that on the inside, but we are going to use this on the front pocket. And when I say this, this is from the twelve by twelve collection pack. <clears throat> On top here, I'm gonna do some color blocking. So I'm gonna use a band of the stamps and then I'm gonna add this blue piece. So I'm gonna add the stamps first and then I can trim down the blue piece to fit. And I think I've, this needs to be trimmed just ever so slightly. Yep. Let's 
looks crooked, so I'm going to double check. Oh, I should do it this way. I can see here that my pattern was drifting, so... Okay, this looks better. I just flipped it over. I think one side was straight and one side was slightly askew. That should do it. And it does. So we'll ink it and glue it down. And that is the A side. Page six. And when we come back together, we will be working on the B side. I need to line up my papers. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any color blocking, so it should go pretty quickly. And then we'll do some inserts for the pocket. So we still need to do the pocket liner and then cover the top and get some inserts in here. So when we come back, we'll, we'll work on that. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. So we'll be back shortly with my uh, design choices for the inside or the B side of page six. Okay, I figured it out. <clears throat> I had to shuffle some papers around because I wasn't liking the way it looked. Put them back and we're ready to go. So we're on page six. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. And these just happen to be scraps that I had left laying around, so I didn't trim them out to any particular size. I'll tell you what they are, but they are just strips that were left behind. <clears throat> and this one is, it's four inches. Four by seven and seven eighths, and this one is three inches. So what am I gonna do? Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have a red strip in between, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure. <laughs> It's going to fit. And the other way is to do it this way. Which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut it down, this one down, just a little bit. And then they'll, they'll be red in the middle. going to tuck ever so slightly into the pocket. I almost put glue on the wrong side. very well. It needs to scoot over.
we go. Okay, now the next one is gonna go right here across the top. And then we're gonna trim the red out to fit. Okay. There we go, page six. Okay, now we need to put some inserts in here and I'm going to use some ephemera cards. And I am going to use the front and back of the ephemera card. So this will be the outside and then when you open the card, this will be the inside. I'm going to tuck these in here to preserve them, uh, reserve them, and then um, I'll, I'll do this offline. So a free as a bird, um, it doesn't really need to be this one in particular, but it needs to be a vertical card, um, a horizontal card. I think will get lost in here unless you really frame it out. So that is it for page six. Okay, thanks everyone. Be back soon.